Yo, what up, guys? I'm Sammy. And I'm Lucas. And welcome back to Patch. And today we're going to be reviewing the Ponage Ultra Custom Sim 2 Wireless. And it's this bad boy right here. It's going for 110 bucks, which is, I guess, pretty competitive if you're like looking at the main kind of like wireless mice like the G Pro Wireless and the Vibro Ultimate. But I guess comparing it to like the model of wireless is a little bit more expensive. But the customization that you get on this mouse is absolutely insane. And also, if you guys want to change up the color, the extra sets are like $12 each. It comes with three plastic like different, I guess, shells. So we get a solid shell, a kind of like, I guess, hold shell, which I don't really like or I get. Does anyone even like the know. honeycomb? I don't know. Yeah, Some like, people dig it, I guess. Yeah, and then it's lighter. We, I guess, right? And then we have uh, the mouse button covers as well. So all links to all of them are down in the description box. Uh, but let's get start off with the shape, and the shape is absolutely amazing. It's I we I'd say it's like the Viper Ultimate, but a little bit higher. You know what I mean? As far as the yeah. profile goes, so. I think it's it's close enough to a G Pro Wireless for me to where I feel just I feel right at home with this. You know, and I mean, we've already talked about this a little bit because we reviewed the non-wireless version of this. And then actually the company hit us up and they sent this to us with a <laughs> couple extra sets. So shout out to Ponage for that. But yeah, the overall shape is absolutely amazing. As you guys all know, um, it's if you like the Viper Ultimate shape, but you wish there was a little bit more arch, then this will be a great shape. Obviously, this is a little bit lower than the G Pro Wireless, I would say. Uh, it's a little bit more like lower profile, but it's still nice. It fills the hand up nicely for palm grip. It's also really nice for a uh, fingertip or claw grip, you know. Uh, it's not the best option though. I would say the best option uh, for fingertip or claw grip is like the XM1 shape or like the MM710. Um, but this is still a very nice and overall very balanced shape, I would say. I got some big hands and yes. this is the best mouse for me for fingertip and claw grip better than my G Pro Wireless X Super Lite. I prefer this one. Wow. Any day of the week. This is going to be, I'm just gonna spoil it right here early on in the video. This is gonna be my daily driver. Like this is gonna be the mouse that I use every day until something new comes out and beats it. Yes. So very, very impressed with this. And I was honestly, I was gonna daily drive the wired version of this. Now that I've got this, mm, daily driving it. Yes. Can't wait. And uh, like we mentioned before, it is wireless. So here in the front of the mouse, we have a USB-C port with of course the wire. And the wire has a dongle and the dongle seems pretty nice. And you can also store the dongle inside of the mouse if you would like as well. Yeah, and that's an issue that we had on previous mice from Ponage is that little dongle, this black piece in the middle, this little adapter here, um, it was breaking apart. Like yes. it's, it's just like that 3D printed like plastic and glue sort of deal yeah. was breaking apart. No quality control issues with this one. I was a little extra rough with it too. I was trying to see if I could get it to break and it wouldn't. So yeah. um, good on them for that. They seems like they fixed that. Yeah, and of course, if your mouse runs out of battery, you need to charge it while you're playing. You can always do that. And the cord is very nice. It's a very nice loose paracord. So that's, that's also great. Also, like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can customize the color. So right now, Lucas has it at uh, black and yellow, you know, with the white sides. And uh, it's really easy to change up, like it's that quick, right? So of course, if you want to switch up the, the mouse button as well, you can switch it up like this, it takes like five seconds. You gotta get used to it a little bit, but once you do, it's pretty quick. And then let's change up, I guess, keep it blue, I guess, you know, and then yeah, just put on the honeycomb right there. It sticks in with magnets, boom, snaps right in place. It's that easy. And it, and it doesn't feel any worse for wear, which is the important part. Because when you have things that are modifiable like this, where you can get to the internals like that, you worry about it being worse for wear every time that you do that. Um, actually on none of their mice, um, I have I ever had issues with changing that thing out and I've popped that thing on and off so many times Yes, um, it's also just satisfying to do it's like opening and closing an airpods case, you know yeah. Like and they're not worse for wear at all. So props to them on the durability of this Yeah, and I mean if you change up your mouse pad or something like as far as the color goes or your desk It's really easy to match it up and make your mouse kind of like match with the overall aesthetic of your desk Which is really cool if you do that you will hit more headshots. Yeah, keep that in mind with the RGB, right? So of course that does uh, add to the customization. Uh, it doesn't have the weights like the wired version does, which kind of sucks, you know? It's only, I guess the only uh, weight that you can change is from the honeycomb 
kind of like a back shell. Uh, here where the weights are, or I guess were from the wired version, we have the battery, of course, to power the actual mouse. So there's the customization there. As far as the clits go, we got KO 8.0s and they still feel super nice, very crisp. I mean, so good. Yeah, so it so feels very, it's a very nice hearty click, just like the XM1. It doesn't feel mushy or soft or anything like that. It feels amazing. And if you don't like the clicks stock and you like to change that, um, they do have button spacers in there. So you can actually change the amount of like, like pre-travel, post-travel, you can change that sort of click feel. Um, you can also adjust the screws that are in the mouse one and two um, right down here. And that'll also adjust sort of the feel of it as well. Yes. So you have options, plenty of options. It says, ultra custom not just custom it's ultra custom so it's ultra customizable kind of sucks like i said because they don't have the weights from the wire version but it's not a huge deal i would say and as far as the side buttons go they feel like regular side buttons you know uh, there's a good amount of post travel and pre-travel they feel a little mushy but it's, it's fine it just feels like a regular side button they and feel a little more responsive for me really than an average like i don't know i like the click a little bit better it's still it's just a side button you know yeah. end of the day yeah it's easier to reach it's it's not too small not too large or anything as far as the scroll wheel goes there it, it's pretty tactile i would say it feels pretty similar to the model o scroll wheel and of course on top of the mouse we have a dpi button for uh, changing the DPI on the fly if you would like. Yep. And we've talked about Ponage Mouse before, so if you guys know about the wireless ones already, um, they do have the power switch on the bottom, uh, and you have an option to turn it on without RGB. Because it's a wireless mouse, if you wanna save battery life, keep that RGB off, get you more battery life. Now, as for the RGB, um, we actually have a strip along the back that your hand pretty much does cover. Um, you've also got the Ponage logo inside of here, so if you're using the honeycomb shell, you can you can see that. You can also see it if you pull off the cover there, as well as the scroll wheel for extra speedy scrolling. Uh, you've got RGB on the scroll wheel as well. That's probably the only one you're gonna be able to see while your hand's on it. So if you're gonna have any one of them on, maybe that one. Yes. Of course, you can customize all of that in their software if you would like, but you don't need to get their software. This is just plug and play. But their software got a ton Ton better. Oh my goodness, it's so much better than it used to be. Yeah, I just had the one for the original Ultra Custom and that software kind of sucked. Like it did what it needed to, you know, but like the UI was just terrible. Like it's so much better on this one. So if you do have to download the software, it's not like a hassle. Yeah, so now on the bottom of the mouse, we got the pure PTFE skates, one on the top and one large one on the bottom and also one surrounding the sensor. It's extra thick, so uh, durability will be probably very good. It's rounded on the edges, so you get a very nice overall smooth feeling. It feels very quick. I mean, you, you're getting a lot, you know, that comes inside of the box. All right, so as far as the weight goes, like, like we said, the weight can vary. I guess let's check the actual weight difference between the solid shell and the honeycomb shell. So the honeycomb is five grams. This is probably gonna be like six grams. Oh, it's seven grams. Okay. Oh, two grams. Two grams oh difference. my god. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, and then obviously it's gonna vary also which model you get because we have these solid sides. Yes. Um, and then you can also get honeycomb sides. We prefer the solid. So that's the uh, that's the best in my opinion. I hit more headshots with that. Exactly. Because like you know the honeycomb sides. I mean, if you are like a stickler for weight and you want the lightest mouse possible, then of course you probably want to get that. But it just feels weird when you're hand handling the mouse. You know, it kind of feels like a cheese grater on my thumb. We got a full solid shell and solid sides as well. So let's check the weight on that. And it's 75 grams. So perfect. perfect honestly, yeah, like exactly. I don't mind it. Yeah. Um, if you do want to change the weight distribution or add more weight to it. Um, I'd recommend the wired version of this from their website because you can add weights and you can also put more weights towards the front or the back of the mouse, just depending on what you want to do. So there's more customization there. But with this, it feels balanced and I don't mind it. Yeah, and as far as the quality goes, I mean, it feels awesome. I love kind of like this like smooth finish on the cover and it just feels like amazing. You know, there's no quality issues. There's no, no rattling or anything. And it just, it's a great looking mouse too, you know, with the RGB and everything. And just like the customization that you can do with the like colored shells is just, it's awesome. I feel like out of all the mice that I've owned, this is probably the one that I get the most questions about. And also there's like, like gold and like iridescent like shells. They, yeah, awesome. they have the metallic covers. Yeah. Those are so cool. They're like 25 bucks though. Yeah. So they're a little more pricey, but 
It looks sick. Overall, this mouse is absolutely amazing. It's wireless as well. Battery life is great. The shape is amazing. The clicks are awesome. The skates are awesome. It comes with a lot of stuff, extra skates. It comes, you can also customize it. It's just an overall great mouse. And for 110 bucks, you know, like probably $40 cheaper than like the like kind of gaming standard, like the G Pro Wireless. This is great value as well. So we would totally recommend it to you guys. Yeah, 100%. I seriously, I don't think this mouse could get much better. I really want to give them tips on like how to improve this guy. But the only thing I could say maybe, and this is kind of stretching it, is just like better side buttons, I guess. And also I would love it if the power was like all the way on the bottom or all the way on the top because having it in the middle kind of like like a little bit annoying but that's like very minor quality of life adjustment and that's it so exactly so again if you guys do want to get it we'll leave a link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one see you in the next one